If you've been wanting to make the move to StreamerBot but feel intimidated to start, let's learn some basics. Today, we'll be learning how to make commands. First, make sure to download StreamerBot and run the application. Then, click on the Platforms tab and go to Twitch. Under Accounts, you can log into your main account here. And if you have a second account to serve as a bot account, you can log into it on browser and then follow the same linking process. Then, go to your Commands tab. For an example, let's make a Discord link command. Right-click and add a new command, and I will name it Discord link. If you plan to have a lot of link commands, you can also make a group, so I will go ahead and make one named social links for an example. Then there are a number of options here as well that you can toggle on and off depending on your needs, and most of these are self-explanatory except maybe these two. The persist per user will count how many times a user uses the command, and the persist counter is just the overall command use count. For cooldowns, again there is a global cooldown and a user cooldown option as well, which you can set to any amount that you want, and under the source section you can choose where the message should come from. If you're using Twitch, make sure that the Twitch box is checked. Then move to the Actions tab. Right click and add a new action. For the trigger, right click and add trigger, core, command triggered, and select your new command trigger. Then for our sub action, we want to send a message to the channel. So right click, add, Twitch, chat, send message to channel, and type your message out here. If you want the message to be sent by your bot or by yourself, if the bot isn't available, keep those two options toggled on. And your new command should now work. If you want the command to work with multiple platforms, it's easier to make one command per platform and one action per platform for the response message, because if you only have one command for all of your platforms, on the action side you would need a conditional to tell it where to send the message to. And that is possible, but it's not really beginner friendly. If you want more StreamerBot Basics tutorials, let me know in the comments below.